Okay, you guys, we're jumping right into this video, and as you can see, I only bought one pack of wave formers. Don't ask. I don't know what I was thinking. It's only 12 in the pack, and it will not finish my entire head, so I decided to make this video a wave former versus twist out and braid out and show you guys the difference between them, and also, I just want to see how they would turn out, and yeah, so I bought one pack. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. It's parted into four different sections. This makes it a little easier. And right here, I'm sectioning off my hair so I can start to place the waveformers. And it seems like I'm using like really large pieces, which I am just to preserve the little waveformers that I do have. I'm going to be using this mixed chips leave-in just to add some hold to my hair. It says nothing is on it, and I'm just using this leave-in um, instead of gel. Okay, the waveformers came with this stick. It's almost like a crochet needle, and you're just going to put the waveformer on there, and y'all, yes, I was struggling. That's why I'm showing y'all this part, and then I twist my hair up a little bit at the top just so I can get it on there good, because if you don't, your hair will get tangled just to make sure it's around that little hook really well, so it can be very simple, and you can just pull it through. And that's all it is. It's like really, really simple. And you guys, when I first started, I was making this so hard. So when I first got that one, I was like, oh, God. And I didn't show you guys all my little trials and tribulations. I just wanted to show you guys the easy part in the simple way. I'm just going to continue that way all the way through my head and continue to put um, my leave-in on. And you guys, I do have a cup of water sitting by me. And I'm dipping my hand in the water and just kind of um, getting my hair a little more, more, um, moist so it can have a good hold okay you guys before we get any farther into this video go ahead and hit that red button if you're not subscribed to my channel it is always free and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can see the latest that's going on on my channel and if you don't mind please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up Okay, once I pull this one through, you guys can see that my hair is a little longer than a waveformer. So all I did was like slightly pull it down so it can cover the bottom part of my hair. And it worked just fine. It, the only thing about it is your roots will be a little more puffier. I kind of like it better when it was a little tighter at the root. So I can straighten my root a little bit more and it can just have this nice uh, straight look all the way down. Okay, you guys, I'm finished with the other side of my head. Now I'm starting on the left side, but you're right. And I am just going to do the same thing on this side. And there are only 12 waveforms, so I'm doing six on the right and six on the left. And one more little tip for you guys. When you're doing this to your hair, um, it will be easier for you to just go ahead and smooth down your edges while, while or before you put the waveforms in because it will make it easier. And I didn't do it, and I wish I would have. Okay, you guys, I have all my waveformers in, and let me just add, it was super, super fast. I love this method, and it was easy once I figured out how to do it. And now I'm starting on the back side of my hair, and I'm just going to do a simple braid out, just two braids, so you guys can see the difference.
Okay, I finished my two plaits and I already had two twists on the other side and it's just two two strand twists, nothing special. And I'm just going to leave those there and let them dry up with the curl formers and the braids. And here I am taking out the curl formers because my hair has dried up completely. And keep in mind, you guys, you do not have to use heat. You can if you want to. And I did not use heat. Um, and my hair turned out beautifully. It turned out like really, really straight. So if you guys ever want to straighten your hair with no heat, I think this is the way to go. I was just so amazed at how it came out. My hair was like extra shiny and really, really straight. And right here, I'm just taking down my plaits that I put in. I'm not doing anything special. And I did not put oil on my hands, which I usually do. But I didn't this time. And I wish I would have. And not especially on this side with the braid out, but more so on the side when I'm taking out of my two, when I'm taking out my two strand twist. Okay, you guys, this is where I'm taking down my twist, and I said I wish I would have had some kind of oil on my hand so my hair wouldn't get as frizzy as it did on the ends. Okay, you guys, here's an up close view of the waveformers versus the braid out. The braid out turned out a little smaller. But you guys know that also depends on how small you plait your plaits or how big. And it's more fluffy. On this side is the twist out and the waveformer. And you can see the wave pattern is a lot different from the twist out. So I think if you want to replicate this look in any way, you would use a braid out instead of the twist out. Now don't get me wrong, the braid out and the waveformers, they are two different looks. But the closest you can get to a waveformer is a braid out, in my opinion. The um, waveformer is more like a deep wave look and it's really, really pretty. I think it would have been especially gorgeous like if I would have had um, at least three packs of the waveformer so I could do it and um, get a full, like a full head of waveformer look. And right here, I'm starting to pull the waves apart, in which I'm kind of scared because they are so soft. I think I needed more hole, but I just love the shininess and the lightness of the look when I didn't put as much um, of a hold on there. But on the flip side, you won't get as much hold and it might get frizzy fast. Um, and right here, I start to pull them apart and I saw that they were getting a little more frizz on the end. So I kind of stopped and I just started to pull apart my twist out and my, braids, my braid out. Okay, you guys, I'm finished fluffing it out or doing whatever I can because, like I said, I was scared that it was going to get a little more frizzy because I didn't put enough um, product on it to hold it down. And um, I'm just in love with it. I love these waveforms. I think that they are gorgeous. Um, <laughs> on the funny side, my husband told me that I look like um, George Washington or, you know, like a powder wig, which it does kind of have that look, but I thought it was gorgeous anyway. And one more thing I wanted to add um at my roots, I did twist my hair, and you guys, when you're doing your hair like this, don't twist as much as I did because you it will leave it like a, a little twist ringlet. So just twist it enough just to get the hair um, around the hook, and it will turn out perfect. And that's it, you guys. I hope you guys like this look as much as I do. And don't forget to share this video, you guys, because sharing is caring, and I will see you guys in the next one.